Welcome to Scanner Danner Premium. In this video, I wanna cover navigation and the introduction to what is actually here. When you log in for the first time, you'll scroll down the page and you'll see this playlist. Depending on if you're a mobile device or PC, it will look a little bit different. So the first thing you'll notice on this list on your phone is you'll see this playlist, but over here to the right, the new video list will be down below this list. So you just scroll down further on the screen to see them. As far as the content that's here as of today, which is 1019 of 22, we have 504 videos each of the videos averaging over 40 minutes. And so there's over 400 hours of training here on the site and we are producing new content all the time. As you can see on this list to the right, our new video list, they are dated and we are continuing to add material. Uh, we are also adding some diesel content now down here at the bottom of this playlist. This is from my friend, Brian Pollock and he is a frontline in the field diesel technician. Special thanks to Brian. As far as where to start, I have three suggestions. Number one, universal testing methods. Number two, basic electrical concepts. As you can see in the playlist, you know, how to read wiring diagrams, testing for a short to ground, no meter and test light, ignition system basics. And number three, the scope and scan tool class. The material that's here, you can see it's very specific to Snap-on. And when I did these classes, we um, had some training programs with Snap-on that I did these for. And I, I wanna tell you, it doesn't matter that two of these are, are outdated and maybe the third one that isn't, they still use the Varus platform uh, all the way into the Zeus. Even if you don't own any Snap-on equipment, this series, is super important. The the Varus training, for example, I'm just gonna pick that. Sure, there's some buttonology in there and button pushing and what does what, but let's, let's just go to um, the training part 11 just to give you an idea of what is in here and why this is important. Setting a trigger, trigger delay and level, uh, trigger falling edge versus rising edge, auto trigger, manual trigger, no trigger. Why do we need a trigger? Like this, material is so universal you absolutely will want to be in here regardless if you own a snap-on uh, scope or not it, it, it doesn't make a difference the majority of it is universal so spend some time here in the scope and scan tool classes eventually we'll add some more in here but again week one type training universal concepts universal theories it doesn't matter if you don't own one of these that leads us to chapter one Let's see what's in here. We have page for page teachings, what you'll see in the titles up top. These first five videos covers the whole chapter on one particular recording that I did. And then you'll find the rest of this chapter has expanded content. And what those are would be recordings that I've done with future classes from the original with the idea of going above and beyond what's in the book. Sure, there's some repetition in here as we cover book content, but on the expanded content lectures, I'm adding case studies to reinforce the topic or new material that I've learned along the way. So make sure you're watching all of those. Let's just click on the first one. This is the first lesson, the first day. I have timestamps in there telling you what's in the class. And then I also have related videos, and this would be in the ebook. So if you're following the ebook, actually, or paper book, in there I have hyperlinks that would be videos that are used to reinforce the topic. They're YouTube videos, and they're right here. So you can click on those, and they'll take you right to those case studies on YouTube. Then once you finish the classroom material, that's what all of this stuff is up top, I have additional case studies down below. And these would be things that we've been working on over the years as we find a, a, a car, like for example, with a lean condition, a car with a jump timing chain, a car with a plugged exhaust, another one with low power. This one was really, really good. It was a shifted keyway on the crank. And all of those really are tied in in some way, shape or form to the chapter one material because that's what we're covering in here. We're covering fuel trim and we're covering misfire and we're covering relative compression testing and in-cylinder pressure testing, all case studies that reinforce the topics. So that's chapter one and that's really the way each one of these are laid out with the chapters in my book. 
scroll down a little bit further and you'll see other playlists. So we have HVAC systems, module programming and case studies, some intro classes in here from Bullseye Auto at the bottom, some J2534 classes. Uh, and then we have uh, some stuff from my friend, uh, Matthew Skundrich, this 2018 F-150 All Keys Lost, uh, setting up Y-Tech, GM Tech Line Connect Overview. That was my friend Matthew Skundrich that, that brought those to us. Uh, misfire case studies, no start case studies. Those ones would be videos that I really couldn't plug into any of the chapters. You know, misfire, you could be ignition. We cover ignition up in here in 21 and 22, but you know, maybe it wasn't totally ignition related. Um, yeah, this is a Sebring with a, a Oh, this was really good. Shorted headlight circuit was shorting into the sensor ground circuit. Crazy stuff. Some really, really cool case studies within there. We talked about scope and scan tool classes. My SDP 2.0 playlist is really just me teaching again through the book and I'm using multiple cameras and just doing things a little bit different than I did originally. All right, let's talk about this search box. Very helpful. You have a video that maybe I recently did and you're looking for it. I'm um, thinking of the Lexus with the shifted keyway. Let's just type in Lexus. Where was that Lexus video Danner was talking about? Scroll down and you see all of the stuff that I was doing with Lexus systems. There's our RX 330 low power. That's our guy right there. Um, a question I just had from a viewer because he just joined and he watched his part five video and he's like, hey, Paul, where's parts one through four? And what I told him to do, one of the ways to do this is there's your title, follow this breadcrumb trail and it's in this playlist. So click that playlist and you'll find the rest of the Chevy Express van. There's your five part series. As far as the box up top, talked about the premium home. Premium subscription info, this is gonna give you your date on when you started, when it expires. Um, the SDP email signup is one to put your information in, and then when you subscribe, you will be sent an email of all new uploads. We won't use this email system to solicit business from you guys. It will only be emergency type contact. You know, if the site's down or something like that, that's the only other time that I've used that to say, hey, the site is down, we know we're, we know about it, we're working on it. I think I've used this email for that one time only in all the years doing this. The rest of it, they're automated emails you'll get every time I upload a new video. So sign up for that. Uh, the new video list is just that. You can, from your phone, quickly pull up all of the new videos that are here. The other thing, edit your profile. You can change your username, your password, your email. And then one final piece, the download study guides. This is really helpful when we're trying to learn. I'm picking week one. And in week one, I mentioned the three areas I teach from is universal testing methods, that's chapter one. The basic electrical, that's my basic electrical concepts playlist. And then the scope and scan tool stuff. Um, so you can pull these up. Let's just pull up the universal testing methods one real quick and you can see that uh, there's questions in here. And really, I want you guys to use that as a study guide. I don't have the an, an answer key for you guys for this. Use this as a study guide as you're going through the classes. I'm asking these questions to see if you can answer them. If you need a little bit of help answering these, go to the forum. This is the main forum. Go to Scanner Danner video and book questions and discussion. Scroll down chapter review quiz for premium subscribers. So within here, you can ask your questions, maybe ones you can't answer, and we can help you here as far as guiding you to the answers to those specific questions. As far as how to join, we have three different options. The first one, we offer a 14-day free trial. At the end of that trial period, a paid subscription process begins on a month-to-month -month basis. You do not need to resubscribe at the end of the free trial. It will continue into a paid trial. If you cancel before the 14 days is up, you will not be charged. So for those of you on the fence, 
sign up for the free trial and then immediately cancel. And then you don't have to worry about counting your days and you'll have the remainder of the 14 days to check out the material. The no trial option is just that. It just skips the free trial and you begin your month to month subscription. And then the third option we have is for those of you that don't want to use PayPal, you don't have a PayPal account, but you still want to join. We have a custom membership. You can just contact us, hit that form, tell us how many months you want, and we can set you up. As of now, to have a recurring monthly subscription, you can only use PayPal, but we are working on a new payment system that's go going to allow you to use a credit card outside of PayPal that's coming soon. So I'm really looking forward to having you guys with me to hear the success stories all over the world where people are double, triple, quadrupling their income following this plan having a great foundation poured for them to advance them to the next step in this field. That's what this is about. I look forward to each and every one of your comments in the videos and in the classes.